Welcome back guys to another episode here at Central Oregon Shenanigans. Today we're gonna work on a Triton V10. <laughs> Oh, it's a nasty rainy day here in Central Oregon. You think she's in Lent mode? What do you got to say for yourself? Well, here in about an hour, I'm really hoping that it doesn't make this noise anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See, we think it's in Lent mode is why I want to the worst steam engine I've ever operated. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Come on. Come on. Come back to me. Come on. There you go. Alright. So 1500 RP. No. 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 You. No. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Um, we got it in the shop as you've seen on video there. Before we get started with this project, uh, go ahead and drop down below and believe it or not, that little thumbs up that we talk and complain about all the time, it, it really promotes our videos. We're trying to get back into the swing of things. Well, put, uh, it puts us in an algorithm. People looking for stuff, that's that's the biggest thing to that. It, it puts us inside of that algorithm. Cal's got a really nice shirt on. I do. Is that denim? <laughs> <laughs> Call me Denim Dan. So. Kyle and I found, well, we found this truck yesterday. No, day before yesterday? No, yesterday. yesterday. It was yesterday. No, yeah, it was yesterday. And um, it came. Um, we've got some parts pulled out of this kit. Oh, that's half the reason it won't run, right? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's got it's got to be plugged in? Oh, it blew, so when it blew out, that... It, it okay. took it with it. So it came, instead of going down to O'Reilly's and buying a cheap crappy set this thing came with a ford triton insert installer and kyle's already watched the it's got the little oh, video I, I watched watch. the first part of the video so we're we're gonna do we're the, gonna play along with those guys and how they uh do it um so we got to make sure the cylinder is at the very bottom of the stroke and we don't have our nice little boroscope cam to do that at the moment, which sucks because then we could have a little film doing that. But anyway, I'm not going to complain. Um, <coughs> Pop in. <coughs> so we're going to do that real quick off camera and make sure that that cylinder is completely all the way down at the bottom. So yeah, like, subscribe if you're tuning in for the first time. We are a Ford channel. We do have uh, all 19 models they made from 1970s all the way up through through the 2000s <laughs> early 2000s so um yeah <laughs> that was a big rotate yeah i think we're at the bottom okay because you gotta remember when you get to the bottom you spin a lot to start going back up yeah <laughs> oh freebie oh yeah okay Right? Oh, so yeah. That's a lot of. If, do you want me to go under there and spin the thing? No. And have the, I want no. you to watch. No. Ooh. All right. Well, that's what I was attempting to avoid. Do you need a wobbly? No. No. Well, yeah, so this so is the, the new. Th the... So we're boring it out so that these are, these yes. are the new threads. Though these kind of go. I know, I know how, I know. This is, it's the same concept as the cheaper kit, but. The cheaper kit comes, with, well, and this uses a factory plug. Yeah. You don't have to have a long one that crimps This has in cutters it. in it, remember? And it cut, it cuts its own way. The cheap kit. Yeah. This one will be threaded in forever. Yep. 
It's an actual Healy coil. Kit. Yes. I've never done Healy coil because uh, never had the really the desire to. Watch, you're gonna be like, oh, I need to put JB JB weld on. It's like what? <laughs> that I, that's what I think. You have to JB weld the threads. Interesting. But why? I don't wouldn't, know if I've got JB weld. Why anymore? wouldn't we just use Loctite? Because JB is gonna hold it. But I don't. I don't know. I'm new. Hmm. Helps to go the right fucking way, I guess. Oh shit! <laughs> I got shit here going. Well, on. it's reversed. Oh. Oh! 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 Got it. All right, Kyle just got through boring all the way down through the threads of the bad threads that the, that the uh, spark plug popped out of. So now we've got to watch the video and see what the next step is. All right, we're gonna PB blast the threads. WD-40 it. You can some, some kind of lubrication. Crank oil it. Whatever you guys like to use to do your tapping and dyeing. Okay, now we're gonna drop that that tap in our guide hole that we've got placed in the head. Okay. And it's too big. To, is there a different tool for this, Kyle? No. Well. What do you mean it's too big? It's too big. That no, one it's goes, not. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. And you get it started because I'm telling you that is too big for that guide. Maybe the guide goes that goes on. I don't all right, so you got to put the uh, collar on the thing and then slide her down in there. Now Kyle's got this all lined up for me to make the repair slash maybe make a mess of this whole project. I'm hoping not. Okay. Uh... Okay. <sighs> Team Ramrod. Team Ramrod. You're not gonna have. I just need a regular ratchet then. I want you to handle it. There's the first line. Holy shit. That's nuts. Everybody. All, All right. right. So we mixed up JB Weld because we, we, we did. Not that stuff. <laughs> the, the real JB Weld. And uh, Kyle's gonna go ahead and send her home. And um, the, don't throw down in the comments why the heck it, that's what the kit tells us right. to do. So, and there's a reasoning behind that. You don't want that sleeve to back out next time you do a tune up on this. This is our one and only fix here. We think we've done it proper so far. You still gotta pull the motor to do the head, don't you? Yeah. No, we left the body. <laughs> Not in here. <laughs> I just send her home with an air ratchet. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God! What the... A long time ago, just to swap out. Yeah. The spark plug one. Yeah. You know, yeah, it gets stuck it in gets there. Stuck in there. What do you guys think? Is it gonna work? Comment down below. We're not gonna know. You guys are gonna know in this video if it's gonna work. We're not gonna know. <laughs> yeah, we gotta tell, tell, like tell tomorrow. Yeah. What do you guys prefer better, the V10 or the 460 prior to this? I like the V10 better. I do too. Gas mileage is about the same. Mm -hmm. Get in there. I, then I feel like the fuel injection versions <laughs> of both, this one definitely is more superior. What did this thing make foot pounds wise? It was like I don't 500? I don't remember. 20 foot pounds. Remember our little foot pound? Too bad we don't got more bolts to do. No. Damn it. <laughs> Tony. That was annoying. And five. Yep. All right, guys. So it is the next night. It's been 24 hours since we set the new Healy Coil Kit Spark Plug Fixer Triton Dealier. So <laughs> I'm trying to have fun with this. So. All I got to do now is plug in the injectors, put a new coil, 
hook up an exhaust hose and then put this back together right there that Kyle took apart and we should be able to turn key fire this thing right now wish me luck I will catch you guys here in a second All right, let's do some sketchy stuff here attempt to start number one shaky but I have a uh, I gotta clear the codes the plugs the plastic plugs on the injectors two of them were disconnected well one of them was disconnected I disconnected the other one the tabs broke so we might have a misfire just because they're a little shaky I checked the uh, I checked the injectors I think it needs a tune-up. I think um, I think we're at a point we need to do nine more spark plugs. As it's warming up, it's going away. The shaky, shaky. She's uh. Well guys, let's call that a success on this video. We'll come back to this truck in another video. We're gonna detail it up, we're gonna clean it up. Um, and we'll talk about what we got here. Obviously it's a V10, it's a 99, it's four wheel drive. But um, we're gonna restore this back to um, usable uh, condition. Stay tuned. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, and we'll catch you next time here on Central Oregon Shenanigans. Good night, guys.